Hello all, welcome back. This is Cristobal Dana from Trinity Software. In this tutorial, let's learn animation using Python. We shall see how to create bouncing balls animation using TKinter. This is the final output of bouncing balls animation done with the help of TKinter. It can be developed with just 30 lines of code. So let's start writing the code. Import everything from TKinter. Now fix the width and height of the TK inter window. Width, comma, height. Width is 600 and height 500 pixels. Now let's create the root window. Next we are going to create a canvas. Inside the canvas we will be drawing the balls. Canvas is created by this syntax. TK width is W and height H. Fine. Let's pack this inside the main window. Now let's create a class named as ball. Inside the class, let's have an init function. So as we know, init is the constructor for the class. So df init parameter self refers to the instance of the object. Whenever an object is created for the class ball, this init method will be called automatically. Let me add two arguments for this init method. The size of the ball and the color of the ball. Inside this method, let's create the ball. Self.ball. It's created using the method of canvas called as create underscore to oval. It takes two pairs of coordinates, the top left and bottom right corners of the bounding rectangle for the oval. Top left, I'm giving 0, 0. And for the bottom right corners, let me give this size. And Finally, let's fill it with the color mentioned in the argument. Next, we need to mention the speed at which the ball moves. The speed in horizontal and vertical direction. The speed in horizontal direction is speed x. Let me give it as 4. Then speed y, 4. Then let's call a method called movement. That is, we need to write the function for the ball movement. So let's call it here. So here let me define this movement function. We are going to call a method of canvas to move the ball to x and y coordinates. Canvas.move method. The first argument is the canvas object. So in this case self.ball. Second argument is the horizontal distance and the third argument is the vertical distance from the upper left corner. So let me give self.speed x and self.speed y. Next, we need to retrieve the coordinates of the ball using quads method of canvas. Obtain the coordinates and store it in a variable called mpos. Canvas.quads method. Pass the canvas object alone as argument. Self.ball. So, this will return a list with the coordinates of the shape. So, the list will contain four elements. Out of this four elements, we are checking for the first and third element. So, if the third element is greater than or equal to the width of the TK inter window or if the first element becomes less than or equal to 0 then we need to work with the horizontal speed. So self.speedx just make it as a negative value multiplying it with minus 1. If position 3 is greater than or equal to height or position 1 becomes less than or equal to 0 then we need to modify the speed and the vertical direction and finally call the after method. So this after method will call the callback function after a delay of the specified milliseconds. TK dot after we give 40 milliseconds then method self dot movement. So this is going to call the same method after a delay of 40 milliseconds within TK inters main loop. Okay now let's create the object for the class. It takes two arguments the size and the second argument is the color of the ball and finally call tk dot main loop okay let's execute the code now so we have got this now we need multiple bouncing balls so we can create more than one object in that case when you have the multiple bouncing balls 
the speed x and speed y should be different for each and every ball so let me make some slight modifications to this code here let's pass speed x and speed y as the arguments so here self dot speed x will be speed x and this is speed y and then while creating this object we need to specify speed x and speed y also maybe 3 comma 3 here ball 1 let's add 3 more balls ball 3 and ball 4 ok fine now let's execute it again so we have our balls with the different sizes and with the different speeds so that's it about bouncing balls animation using python with tkinter thanks for watching if you like this video kindly share and subscribe